I know it's been a while and I kind of have a good reason, but I kind of don't have a good reason. It's just kind of a mixture of having a good reason and then after that just laziness. So Hayden is helping me and he is trying so hard to help me get back into doing what I love because I do love doing this. I do love making videos for you guys and I didn't mean to disappear like that with not really an explanation, but basically the short and sweet explanation is that my computer had an issue where I thought that I had a malware. I don't know how it even got there because I got a brand new computer, but um, I had to reinstall everything and I had to buy a flash drive to save everything. And it kind of was a long process and eventually we figured out that it wasn't even that. So I reinstalled Windows 10 for nothing. So that means that I'm that meant that I had to reinstall everything, like my recording software, my editing software, my TeamSpeak, Skype, everything. All my games, and it was crazy. And uh, I couldn't even save everything because I had been pre-recording like crazy because I knew that I was gonna be super busy because of the musical. So I had a lot of things pre-recorded and I couldn't even save everything because the flash drive I got was the best one I could afford and it wasn't even that big of a disk space so basically when I finally got my computer all set up again it was already time for the musical and so I had no chance to do anything and that kind of just set me back a bit more um, by the way musical went great I didn't completely forget about my channel at all I was recording a vlog for the musical and kind of giving you guys an inside look at hell week so I will be editing that pretty soon um, expect that but um, also just the musical was wonderful uh, I felt like it went really well you guys will see in the vlog kind of how emotional it made a bunch of us and um, I got to keep some of the wonderful Heather from the show um, my director let me keep it because this is kind of a really good memory so now I've got Heather Heather on the hill um, sitting in my base on my desk with my rose so that is a nice little keepsake from what an amazing show it was. And then after that, basically, um, I had a lot of things to make up grade-wise. My grades had really slipped because I was paying attention to the musical a bit more. And I also had a lot on my mind with college things because um, I don't know if I even... Last time I uploaded a video before Tomb Raider episode I just uploaded. Last time I uploaded a video, I think I uh, still hadn't been accepted to college, but a couple days after my face reveal, yeah, I did get accepted to college. Um, the college that I wanted to go to finally sent me my letter of acceptance, and so there's where I'm planning on going. But within a week after the musical, I realized I needed to talk to the college. So I went and talked to them, and made a huge life decision. I visited the archaeology department and then I visited the musical theater department and the archaeology department. I figured out that's not what I want to do with my life. I... It's not what I thought it would be. Uh, most of the jobs in the field are working for the government basically doing a dig so they, you can tell the government if they can destroy this beautiful land or not depending on if there's history there. And that kind of just, it's not what I thought it was. That's not all it cracks up to be. So I figured I should go check out the musical theater branch of the college because they do have a really good musical theater branch. And so I went and I talked to the people there and funny story, two of the professors came into the office of the guy I was talking to and they both were wearing long blonde wigs and they were both men. And they just flipped their hair and said, how do we look? And I was just like, I belong here. And everybody had been telling me it for a long time, but finally I just decided I'm going to do whatever it takes to be more confident in myself so that I can actually do what I know I will love. Even if it's not being the star on Broadway or anything like that. I don't see myself doing that. If it happens, it happens. I don't think it will. But I would be perfectly happy just being a high school director or something like that. Not even that that's a bad thing. I'd be perfectly happy working in community theater. 
just anything as long as I'm doing something with theater because that is really what makes me happy. So that realization had gave me a lot to think about, put a lot on my mind. So that's another thing that kind of set me back. Um, after that, I had singing Valentines and stuff like that. I don't have a vlog for that. Um, but after that, I went to Disney World. I do have a vlog for that. Um, I went to Disney World with my friends. We went to a musical theater workshop there and met um, a really attractive guy. <laughs> He was a lead on Broadway, so we're just like, hey, how you doing? But yeah, it was a really, really good experience, and there was even a more beautiful experience in it that kind of solidified the fact that I want to be something in theater, and I actually kind of really want to be a Disney princess now. I fit the, the requirements, but I'll go into more detail on that when I do the Disney vlog. I'll kind of do an afterward and explain more of the trip that wasn't really captured in the vlog, but other than that, I got back from Disney Monday of this week, and um, yes, I have made myself busy again. Um, I couldn't give up theater, so I decided to do the next show at school. Yeah, uh, but this show is really beneficial. It's really, it's opening my eyes to a lot of things because the show is called The Bully Plays, which means it's it's about bullying in a lot of different respects. Um, actually, surprisingly, the only bullying it doesn't talk about is cyberbullying, but it does mention um, like all these different types of bullying. I can't even think of all of them. There's like sending nudes and things like that. There's a show about that. I have to be the really mean bitchy girl who sends her ex-boyfriend's or ex-boyfriend or her boyfriend's ex-girlfriend's nudes to everyone in school and basically ruins her life and then I get arrested because you know that's illegal. But um and there's another story where I have to basically make this guy be nice to prove himself to me that he can be a good person. And there's another one where I'm a mom and my kids being bullied and it kind of just it puts you in all these different perspectives and positions and it's really really interesting and exciting and I really I cannot wait to vlog that one but in the meantime until that show actually premieres in April I am hoping I can do whatever I possibly can do with Hayden's help I'm looking over at TeamSpeak right now because he's in TeamSpeak um, I will do whatever I can with his help to get myself back into the gear of this because he knows I love it. It makes me more confident, which is what I'm trying really hard to work on right now. And it honestly, I love you guys. You guys are what make me happy. So I didn't mean to go really long winded on this. Um, I've got plans to record a lot more things today and edit a lot of things. So I'm probably just going to do my best to stay on track. But if I kind of disappear for a while, just give me encouragement. I will try my hardest to get back. I just have an issue where sometimes I just get real bad senioritis or something. It's bad. I just need to graduate already. In college, I'll have a lot more free time. I'm gonna be a musical theater major. Let's talk about that first. <laughs> we'll see though. Actually, I haven't even changed my major yet. Fingers crossed. I gotta get into the department first. But yeah. So there's a lot of things changing, a lot of things getting better, a lot of things switching around. Oh, also I got to see my dad. I think I probably talked about that in one of my vlogs or something, or something in December, but I talked to my dad, I saw him, and he's doing a lot better. Um, that's an update, so at least that's going good in my life. Um, I'm actually going to see my dad tomorrow uh, at his house, he's cooking dinner for us, and so that is something that's going really well, um, seeing my dad, so yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me so much, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions about where I've gone or anything that I didn't really fully explain in this video, go ahead, ask me questions in the comments or in my Twitter DMs or my YouTube messages. Do whatever you guys want to do. Just, I'm happy to answer any questions you guys have. So, I'm glad to be back and I will see you guys all again in the next video. Bye-bye! Hey!